Hi everyone, it's Tisha with Tisha's Crafty Time, and I took a class today at Cafe Crop and, uh, with Ken Oliver. Uh, as you, some of you may know, he has his Color Burst line, and uh, I wanted to see what, what all the hubbub was about and um, how, if I would be able to do it, because I'm not uh, used to doing mixed media. Uh, this is... Um, I just got gelatos maybe a month or two ago. I still have yet to use them. So I wanted to try my hand at uh, this. And um, here is the first project. Uh, he has, along um, with the cost of the class, um, he gave us the heirloom uh, rose panel cards. They were five by seven. Um, so, and then he taught us how to use his color bursts which are a powder form um, very very small amount and I learned that you just kind of tap it you don't uh, squeeze it because then you'll have color bursts all over so um, but I did try it and uh, he out I used the color burst with very little water and a very big pa paintbrush like the thing was it was at least this long, if not longer, from here to here. And uh, really big bristles. Uh, this is the only one I have, so I'll have to invest maybe in another one. Um, but uh, trying to get the whole watercoloring thing done. Uh, I am not a watercolorist by any means, as you can well tell. Uh, uh, it was it was interesting to, to finally get... Uh, the hang of it. Af um, here's another one. This is the second one I did. And um, I tried to get the highlighting. And I, I found out that I have to dry it in between each layer. It comes out better that way. So, um, And then finally I got to this point. And um, loved that. I wish uh, the background I would have done with a deeper color because it kind of washes out this rose but uh, he said that I can uh, use another color I think it was lemon grass which I don't think I did end up buying but um, so I'll, I will try to go back and see if I can uh, touch that up also I think with this using a fine because we use sharpies to outline outline this um, if we used a, a fine line Sharpie or maybe even a, um, uh, artist markers or pens and stuff like that, I think that would really be able to give it the fine detail and make it stand out better than a, a thicker line like the Sharpie did. But I hope to go back and kind of outline that and, um, so that it would stand out. My hope was to do all four of the cards and hang them up on the on the panel so I still have this to do so um, which I'm gonna try and do that um, sometime soon we'll see because I got a lot of projects so I just wanted to show you some of the things I got um, let me see if I can turn this on if this would help me okay so there's chartreuse and orchid wisteria cadium scarlet Tangerine, fuchsia, orchid, turquoise, lime green, and marigold. He has other colors there, but I, since I'm just starting, I figured th these pretty much will serve as the basics of what I want. Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay, so I wanted to show you the, me the metal ones that I bought too. Um, here's Metallic Sky, Metallic sh Saffron, Amethyst, Mandarin, Jade, and Rose. And these are the liquid ones, so you all you have to do is just put a drop on on the card and he showed us that he put a couple of drops on here and then with his wet brush just kind of moved the color down and um, 
you know, get, reapplied, got more water, reapplied some more, and then the color fades um, as he goes on. So you really get a watercolor effect. So then I tried it, and um, you you can barely see it. Let me turn on my light here. You can barely see it. Um, maybe a couple of sparkles, but you don't really see it. So I was like, okay, what happened? Because, you know, it was really shimmery in class. So then he did it, and yeah, see, I forgot to shake this. You, you have to shake it because all the metal settles to the bottom. So... Um, you shake it and you can really get that shimmery and beautiful effect and then this is in a powder form so I, I put a little bit of um in there and I got my my brush and I'll show you on here how it, the water moves it around just like any other watercolor and of course the more water you apply to it and pull it away from where you started, the, the color fades into a beautiful pastel y kind of color. And so I, I really enjoy the class. Uh, he says he's going to come back out, so that's amazing. Um, and we can't wait to maybe take another class. Um, he had talked about doing an art journal, so. Um, might might sign up for that because there was a whole bunch of different techniques that he would do in the art journal and then we you get to take it home with you so um, well thanks for stopping by and I um, oh you know what I wanted to show you guys um, I won something we all did we um, everyone who took a class who took a class won something and I was able to I won this water media paper so I get to Play with all his stuff because I don't have any of his uh, water, water um, color paper, and this one has a, a, a different texture I feel like than the other watercolor papers I have, and it seems to be a little bit thicker, so it can withstand um, a good amount of water. And plus, you use your heat setting tool to uh, dry it in between to get um, a, a good effect and to um, set the. Uh, colors as I learned throughout the class that's how I was able to go from this muddled mess to this one that kind of actually looks like a rose <laughs> so oh well thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate it and I hope to bring you some more videos soon talk to you soon thanks for stopping by bye